What's going on, everyone? Everyone out there on YouTube and other social media. This is Hans. We are here in the city of East Whittier. We are about to take a tour of this um, cute little uh, four-bed, two-bath home in the city of Whittier. I think the the price is right around seven hundred thousand. We're at four bed, two bath, fifteen ninety four square feet, with a lot size of six thousand six hundred square feet. This home has been fully remodeled. Um, the one thing that you'll notice right away when you walk in is this um, is this very desirable open concept, and you've got this really nice center island here, and then the pendant lights uh, over the center island. We have a, a very neutral granite and a very blocky but trendy um, backsplash here. Uh, one thing that we are missing from these kitchen cabinets are the pools. And we do have a, um, a range of stainless steel appliances here. Uh, first thing that I want to note is that we do have this really cool uh, garage door. There's even a decal there telling you to walk through the garage door window. But um, yeah, you don't you don't really see these open concepts. These are remodeled, and the contractors come in, they remove the walls, and kind of open everything up. So pretty cool. Um, we have a gas fireplace right there. Uh, overall, a pretty nice layout. I really like the ceramic flooring. It's got that wood look, so you don't have to worry about scratching it up or water spills and whatnot. Um, here we have a covered patio with a cute little pool and uh, uh, I'll say right now the pool doesn't look that deep, but uh, looks like it'll be good for a little pool party. This lot isn't that big; it's only six thousand six hundred. Um, but as long as you, I guess you use you you take advantage of all the space and use it efficiently. I mean, it's a it's a nice little backyard. It's a cozy little backyard. They've gotten rid of a lot of the grass and a lot of plants, so I guess you can say it's low maintenance. So, this is very typical for these homes built in the 60s. The living quarters is all on one side, the living areas on one side. Um, the odd thing here is these little sinks are very tiny, so you don't have any spot for like a toothbrush or toothpaste and that's kind of weird um it makes the space um very open feeling and it feels very roomy but um you don't really have enough you don't really have anywhere to put you know if you got a water pick or you got some toiletries you don't really have any space for that so kind of awkward as you can see we've got four bedrooms to the right side and when you get to the master, I know it's a little bit just disappointing. These master bedrooms are kind of small. I mean, the closets are pretty small too. Uh, but for these homes in this tract, it's very typical to have the size. It, um, it appears that they've fully remodeled this restroom. Good choice of tiling. And also, um, what they've done is they've, um, um, they put these nice glass shower doors. That handle for the shower looks a little bit low though. Okay, I like this window here, kind of gives it a nice uh, open air feeling, but yeah, this is very typical. Um, looks like they built into the closet here too. Wow, it's kind of small. So a cute little barn door there. Um, not that well, not that, not that well executed, but cute little barn door. And that's it really for these, um, these little 1960s homes. Uh, great for a family of four. Um, I mean, you know, you have great schools, a uh, super quiet, super clean neighborhood. Um, good place to, you know, raise a family and to get into your first property. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions or any um, inquiries, if you guys are looking to buy or sell any real estate, uh, give me a call. My name is Han. I'm a local real estate agent here in Southern California. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon.